And as he was setting things up, he kept, I kept asking questions. I went, why are you nailing the drum kit to the floor? And he said, you'll see, you'll see. And I saw all that. And the first song, they destroyed it. The ceilings used to drip with condensation. You know, everything was wet from sweat. The audience was wet. One more day of eating and sleeping. Midnight Oil's new album, Red Sails in the Sunset, is in the shops this week. Their last album has been in the top 100 now for nearly two years. It's very easy now to forget what 1984 was like. That fear that uh, we were about to be plunged into a nuclear winter. It's everyone's issue. Our lives are at stake. Ordinary Australians have gathered together and formed the Nuclear Disarmament Party. They approached me to stand as a Senate candidate and I decided that I would accept their offer. We can really hurt them in the only area they care about, their power. He'd be a good politician if he got into it, I reckon. The twin constraints of the political campaign and the tour, they needed to be kept quite separate. The band was kind of worried at the pace he was going. He was out there spruiking the NDP message and then he'd come in at night and play this cathartic rock show and be in a catatonic state at the end of the night and then he'd get up and do it all again. We were under attack the whole time. How would we manage having a career with uh, a band? Maybe he was questioning the whole thing about being a musician. Everything in the world could be going wrong, but you'd have this thing, you know, and you really loved it. Once we all get in a room, it's just like family. Just because of family to me.